Hi, my friends. Today, I'm in uh, the neighborhood of Vilmedenia, in the higher parts of Algiers, and I will uh, drive to the to Martyr Square, Place des Martyrs. Martyr Square, which is uh, in fact uh, a square, one of the biggest in Algiers. A square very popular in Algiers and uh, which is named after it's in front of the Algiers old city and it's uh, named after the martyrs of uh, Algeria's liberation war that was fought between 1954 and 1962 when Algeria got its independence okay so this is the square of El Madania and I will uh, drive to the the motorway okay to the northern motorway which is which uh, goes through the uh, the city center the very heart of Algiers Alger Centre and uh, Sometimes it gets uh, very hard to leave these neighborhoods. It gets quite hard to leave these neighborhoods here, residential areas. Because, you know, uh, they get crammed with cars. Okay, there is traffic even uh, in some of Algiers is... Uh, uh, most, uh, I mean, qu qu quietest, quietest neighborhoods are uh, in, in some of Algiers' uh, least busy neighborhoods. Okay. In order to leave this uh, neighborhood of Medania, I'm taking this shortcut that will lead me uh, straight to the uh, um, uh, to Le Ravin or the Frère Bouadou Street, the Bouadou Brothers Street. And uh, by the way, uh, Frère Bouadou, when you read the name, a uh, street name uh, with the word Frère or uh, Brothers, this means uh, that the street was named after brothers, two or even more brothers, that were uh, killed by uh, the French during the, the, uh, the du du during uh, the, the Liberation War, okay? During the Liberation War, the Algerian Liberation War, fought between 1954-1962. And one of the main streets here in the neighborhood of uh, El Madania is uh, Rue des Frères Madani, or the Madani uh, Brothers Street. And now we are headed to the Bouadou Brothers Street. Rue des Frères Bouadou. And right in front of us, over there, you can see the neighborhood of uh, Les Anacers. So, this is Le Ravin, or the Ravine, which is in fact a road that links uh, the neighborhoods of uh, Birboradrais and uh, Les Fusilliers. It's quite hard to drive around here because, you know, the road is wide. We are, of course, allowed, or uh, yes, we have, uh, you know, the, the right to cross this street like this. And now I'm driving down the uh, Buadu Street, straight towards uh, uh, Les Fusilliers or Ruisseau. Ruisseau. So, Ruisseau is in, uh, literally means the brook, or the, yeah, the, the, the brook, or the creek, okay, in uh, just a small river, okay, in, uh, uh, in French. And there is a square there called Le Fusillier. It's a very busy area here in the eastern part of, of Algiers. 
there is usually traffic there. Lucky it's, uh, you know, because the it's like a crossroads between several uh, neighborhoods. But when there is a, a traffic cop or a traffic policeman, traffic usually, you know, is, uh, you know, uh, eases down, is fluid, more or less. And the building you see in front of us is uh, Algiers Main Court. It's the Algiers Main Court. That's a new building. Uh, it used that main court used to be located in uh, in the city center in Abban Ramdan on Abban Ramdan Street, and now it was relocated here. Great. So uh, they once installed traffic uh, lights here uh, in 2016 or is it in 2017? I don't remember very well, but they seldom operated them. Seldom operated them. Now we are stuck in traffic for a while, for a little while, and this area here, in fact, is the crossroads between uh, we are in Ruisu, the brook or the creek, and uh, we're in uh, it's in fact uh, the crossroads between uh, 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 the neighborhoods of El Hamba and uh, uh, Kuba and Hussein Day, Hussein Day. Okay, so. Uh, what's on our right down there is, is Hussein Day, and what's on our left is Al Hamma, it's part of the Al Hamma uh, neighborhood where the botanical garden, Algeria's uh, largest botanical garden, the Al Hamma uh, garden or the uh, Jardin DC uh, is, uh, is located. There is also a stadium there, home to uh, the CRB team. CRB, CRB, which is uh, Shabab Blues that uh, team, the local team here, and of course, the neighborhood on uh, the right is Hussein Day, and its uh, local team, its local local uh, soccer team is uh, Nahd, N A H D. Great. So now you can see the the uh, the square the. The Le Fusillé Square, and Le Fusillé literally means uh, the gun down. So once again, this is a name uh, that refers to or that pays homage uh, to uh, some of the martyrs that died for the liberation of Algeria. You can see how busy this place is because there is uh, a subway station here, and there is also um, uh, the you know the. Uh, the streetcar station and uh, the uh, the main streetcar station here in Algiers uh, and also uh, a bus station and uh, even a taxi station you can see cabs here taxis uh, waiting for passengers you see waiting to to, to, to pick up pa passengers and that's it and now we are headed towards the highway uh, the northern highway the, the main highway here in Algiers in this part of the city and uh, it's the highway that uh, you know links uh, the city center to the central uh, to its uh, sorry to its eastern neighborhoods mainly to its eastern neighborhoods and uh, the building the last building on our right uh, used to be a, a supermarket Carrefour run by Carrefour the French company Carrefour now I need to take the left in order to go to the city center and you can see the sign over there, Jama al Jazair, which literally means uh, 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 the, the Algiers Grand Mosque. The Algiers Grand Mosque. Now we are entering the motorway direction, headed, headed towards Algiers. I can see huge waves uh, down there uh, at the sea. Huge waves because uh, today is a windy day. We're in April 2021, and it's, you know, the, the sea is rough, okay? It's very windy, it has gotten very windy this afternoon, and the sea is rough. And now, 
what you see on our left is part of the uh, of the Alhamma neighborhood and what you see uh, 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 what what you see on our right is part of this uh, desalination station of the Alhamma desalination station uh, thanks to which uh, millions of residents here in Algiers drink uh, water okay so uh, a big portion or a big part of uh, Algiers uh, drinkable water comes from this desalination plant which directly takes in water from uh, uh, from uh, the Mediterranean Sea from the Algiers Bay and uh, you know uh, desalinates it and then you know uh, supplies it to uh, to, to hundreds of thousands of uh, of families and, and, and homes here in Algiers and its vicinity of course and what you see in front of us over there is uh, the upper parts of central Algiers so you've got Tilimli and also uh, part of El Bier and uh, uh, El Moradia Golf the top of that hill over there is, is called uh, Tagaran, Tagaran. And uh, there is, a, in fact, there is a there is a Turkish fort there, okay, which still exists, but is uh, in fact part of a, uh, a, a military zone, so tourists can't visit it, but is still there as a historical building here in Algiers, one of the forts erected by uh, the Turks, by the Ottomans, uh, between the 16th uh, uh, and 19th centuries, in order to watch, watch over Algiers. So, uh, as I said before, uh, the Ottomans, or the Turks, uh, dominated Algeria, they controlled Algeria between the 16th and the 19th centuries. Although Algeria, uh, in fact, enjoyed a great deal of autonomy, okay, economically and even politically. So, Algeria was uh, semi-independent back then, uh, up until 1830 when the French colonized Algeria. So the Turks left lots of, uh, or the Ottomans left uh, left lots of uh, historical buildings and structures there, of different natures, of course, residential uh, palaces, uh, uh, fortifications, forts, uh, and uh, bridges, and all sorts of buildings. All right, so now. We have uh, arrived at uh, the uh, May 2 uh, bus station. Uh, there is, there are traffic lights here, but I'm not sure whether we can drive or not. Well, there is a traffic cop over there that he has uh, uh, ordered us to uh, to move, to drive on. And now, I think for the first time in my videos, uh, uh, I'm going to approach the city center, the heart, very heart of the city center here, but we're not entering it, okay? We're going to skip it today because we are driving towards uh, the Martyrs Memorial, uh, sorry, towards the uh, towards Martyrs Square, Martyrs Square, Place des Martyrs, Sehet Shuhada. And uh, what you see on our left here is uh, uh, Tefura is Tefura Square or Masinissa Square, where they uh, they set up uh, a statue of uh, you know in honor of King Masinissa, who is uh, uh, considered as uh, the founder of the first uh, Algerian state or kingdom. I mean, of the first unified or united uh, Algerian state. Uh, that was in the 3rd century uh, BC, the 3rd century BC, before uh, the Romans uh, dominated North Africa and Algeria, including Algeria, okay? There is a gas station here 
and there is a port. I mean, one of the the, the Algiers ports entrances. Okay, and in fact, this is the passengers uh, or, or the passenger port. Okay, so people traveling to uh, traveling to France or to Europe uh, on on, on uh, you know uh, by ship. Uh, this is where you know this is where they they board their ships. And now there is traffic here as we are approaching um, uh, Martyrs Square and uh, everything you see on our left is uh, in fact uh, part of Central Algiers Central Algiers uh, with uh, lots of uh, colonial buildings that are very beautiful that are very uh, you know uh, decorated and uh, they have uh, that uh, neoclassical decoration style and uh, you know that, that would remind you of some uh, European cities. That's what uh, makes Algiers uh, a very Mediterranean city. Okay, and that's also why Algiers. Uh, most of those buildings are painted uh, white, and that's why uh, Algiers is uh, nicknamed the White City. Okay, or, or Algiers the White. Great. So I'm going to uh, skip this traffic jam skip filming this traffic jam for for now until we approach uh, uh, Martyrs Square so as you can see traffic is uh, moving slowly and we are still uh, driving by the uh, the Orgeur Sport uh, this is in fact uh, the westernmost uh, part of the Algiers port, and it seems that uh, what I see here is uh, is encouraging uh, because this traffic is easy. Okay, and as I said, this is the the passengers' uh, port. This is where uh, passengers traveling or travelers, Algerians traveling by ship, come to board their ships, and here. There is a fishery, okay, the Algiers fishery on our uh, on our right, and what lies in front of us is the first, you know, is uh, uh, you can see the mosque, the minaret of the mosque, uh, protruding from behind that uh, those palm trees over there, and it's uh, in fact uh, one of the buildings or the landmarks of uh, Algiers, and uh, it's located exactly. Uh, uh, at uh, Martyrs Square, uh, it's Al uh, Jama Al Kbir, or uh, sorry, Al Jama It's uh, the, the 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 little mosque or the smaller mosque, uh, one of Algiers' landmarks, and uh, it was miraculously uh, uh, spared by the French when they colonized Algeria. They didn't uh, destroy it. Uh, you know, they destroyed uh, large portions of the Kasbah or uh, the Algiers old city, but not that mosque. Uh, there is uh, that mosque, in fact, is not very far from Al Jama Al Kbir or the, the bigger mosque, and it's uh, also right in front of the Kachawa Mosque, uh, which is, uh, you know, one of the first parts of the. Uh, uh, of the Orgiers Old City, of the Kasba, the Orgiers Old City. Okay, so uh, we are already in the, vic the vicinity of uh, uh, Martyrs Square. So if I were on foot, I would just have taken those stairs you can see on the right, on, on the left of of the picture, there beyond that uh, footbridge, and arrived uh, at uh, you know uh, arrived at uh, uh, Martyrs Square. But now, since traffic seems to have frozen, I'm going to uh, skip this. All right, so you can see this uh, a better view of the stairs. Look at how beautiful they are on my left. And uh, the beautiful building right in front of us is in fact part of, uh, you know, of, of, of the Ministry of Trade, the Algerian Ministry of Trade. And I think that this is the the Algiers Directorate of Trade and the fishery is on my right there are some good restaurants here and there are also some good uh, you know uh, fish stores fish stores that sell uh, good fish you can see this beautiful restaurant here the Dauphin the Dolphin 
and uh, well someone in fact uh, uh, one of my uh, teachers in college told me that uh, you know it was the British that built that uh, you know the, 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 those structures here on, on our left all right so traffic again I'm going to skip filming all right so it's easing down so let's continue let's continue and uh, I'm gonna show you something else a beautiful thing here Bastion 23 or uh, here or yes on my right uh, it's in fact a museum, a very beautiful museum, one of the most beautiful museums of all years, as you can see. And it's in fact uh, an old uh, Turkish structure or Ottoman structure. And it's uh, in fact, uh, you know, uh, a museum where you can see houses and, uh, uh, you know, how, how, how uh, I mean, the, the interior of Ottoman era houses, okay, with everything they have inside such a beautiful place and now there is this uh, walkway here this uh, wide sidewalk here where you can walk and see I mean uh, uh, yes and admire the sea the 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 sea is very rough today it's spectacular you know I can see it on my right but unfortunately I can't film it we're still in the vicinity of uh, you know uh, Martyr Square and uh, well, I'm going to drive this place here. This 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 very place here is called uh, Kitani, El Kitani, or Kitani, yes. And uh, you know, it's a it's a place uh, known for uh, you know. It used to be known in back in the 1990s for uh, its uh, its uh, you know. Uh, Swimming pool, yes, there was a public swimming pool here. I once swam here when I was uh, when, I, when I was uh, a teenager, and uh, well, there we go. And now, this this is another part of uh, El Kitani where you know you can you can admire the the sea and how beautiful it is and. Uh, uh, over there, on the top of that hill, over there, you can see uh, Notre Dame d'Afrique. All right, uh, I'm not sure if I caught it on on the camera, but you can see uh, Notre Dame d'Afrique Church or bas bas Basilica. And now we've got to turn around here, and this is part of Bebouet, by the way. This is part of the Bebouet neighborhood, and in fact, we've got to turn around here in order to go back to Martyrs Square. Okay. There. And Pebluet is uh, uh, perhaps the the westernmost part of central Algiers, or, or the the older part of Algiers, the the historical part of Algiers. Okay. Traffic is always slow here, so now I have given you, uh, you know. Uh, an outlook or uh, an idea about uh, about traffic in Algiers and yet you know you haven't seen anything the, the, I wouldn't call I wouldn't call uh, uh, this traffic in fact you know it's very fluid in fact you see I mean if you can make it from uh, from uh, 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 Salombi or, or El Madania to to this place in just 25 minutes then you're a champion okay I mean, it's really nothing. It's normal. It's normal traffic. It's normal, uh, you know, fluid traffic. Okay. And now, back to Il Catani, to the Il Catani area. And I would definitely recommend that you visit that museum. We have just uh, driven past. Uh, and, you know, over there on the right, on the left, sorry. And now, there we go. Martyrs Square just a uh, hundred yards away from us and uh, well it's rather a miracle that I, I managed to, to film all this in 25 minutes on, on a weekday on a work day see and it will uh, it's it's 4 10 
okay p.m it's 4 10 p.m and it's going to be rush hour very very soon because rush hour here it begins at 4 or 4 30 and it lasts uh, for two hours but it would it could last for for a couple hours here in this place and on my left there is the national institute the higher national institute of music that beautiful building on the left over there and all these buildings are in fact uh, surrounding the uh, you know martyr square so martyr square is adjacent to uh, to um, or in front of uh, the Kasbah of Algiers or uh, the old city the Algiers old city historical city where Algiers was uh, founded uh, more than 20 centuries ago and uh, the Kasbah in fact was uh, developed in the 10th century uh, um, in the 10th century AD 10th century uh, CE uh, Christian era and in fact it became the capital of the uh, Berber dynasty or the Amazigh dynasty of the Zirids so they were the ones who made it a capital uh, in uh, I mean in, in, in modern or in uh, sorry in, in the Middle Ages and it has uh, ever since uh, remained uh, an important and uh, an important city and capital all right thank you so off we go towards uh, Martyrs Square so uh, this area is known for its broad streets and uh, of course they are broad uh, uh, by Algerian standards and uh, for its landmarks as well okay but in in colonial times Algerians used to call this uh, square that we, 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 we will be seeing in just a sa uh, few seconds uh, they used to call it Place de Oud or uh, Horse Square there we go Martyr Square with the mosque uh, Jama Sgher or uh, sorry J uh, yes Jama Sgher on our left and uh, you know uh, they're always busy always busy there are markets many markets around here and many stores too many stores so if we continue I mean to 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 the right we will uh, arrive at uh, the central post office but if we turn around the mosque Jama uh, or the the smaller mosque or the lesser mosque then we are going to go back to to the square and hopefully film it from another angle because uh, there are a few things that I would like to show you around here just uh, hope that this traffic uh, won't last for a long time all right let's skip it so this is <coughs> the you know the northern side of this mosque of uh, Jama uh, or the the little or smaller mosque while Jamal uh, Kbir or the bigger mosque is on our right we'll film it some other time and uh, right in front of us uh, we, can, we can see the building of the uh, Algiers public monies so there are many, uh, you know, the, uh, this uh, area also is also known for the headquarters, you know, for housing the headquarters of many Algerian authorities. Uh, uh, that's it. So traffic seems to ease down a little bit. You can see that fountain. And thank you. Now we can turn around and possibly you know film more uh, buildings around here buildings and, la and, and landmarks stop sign we've got to stop and right in front of us over there the Casbah of Algiers meet the Casbah of Algiers Algiers old city okay such a beautiful place is uh, this area is also uh, you know has also uh, an important bus uh, bus stop and uh, Martyr Square is also uh, uh, ha also has uh, uh, you know the uh, the main 
the main um, uh, subway station here in Algiers, the main subway station. So I think that we are uh, done filming this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like it, uh, you know, uh, click on the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit uh, the notifications button in order to receive uh, notifications uh, on my new videos. Take care of yourselves, drive safely, uh, visit Algiers whenever you can and goodbye.